So lots of stuff that we see after fire in terms of um, killed animals. One thing we see is uh, stuff like this um, here above PCH on a winding way. Um, and we have a, in this case, a wood rat that uh, is dead. So now this guy is not obviously burned, so no evidence of, no evidence of scorching or anything like that. He either uh, most likely was, was whacked by a car, but that's fairly unlikely. More likely, uh, heat stress or smoke inhalation um, of this guy. So he's, um, he's, the ants are coming back in, so we're starting to get him, so he's been dead a while, several days. Um, fire is still, uh, is not active in this area for the last uh, few days, but um, most likely a, an impact of this. I was just talking to some guys from the CHP, and they were commenting that, um, and they were commenting that uh, a lot of these guys were crossing the road um, after the fire, particularly on Canaan and some other locales. So, uh, uh, direct burn as well as other indirect sources of mortality for a lot of our wildlife across these burn areas is a very common phenomenon.